The store opened in November 2005. Uh, I opened it because I used to work previously at another store, and uh, me and the people that owned it didn't get along so well anymore, and I decided I had enough experience to open my own store, and that there was a market for what I wanted to do, which was focus more on buying than other stuff, which they had been neglecting at the time. The name of the store came from the record label, Watchbox Records, which was kind of like a collective label that uh, some people started in Atlanta, like in 1990. It was started by a couple people, and they had like a project going, and then they finished that and then passed around to a couple people and eventually got to my brother, and then after he did the label for about uh, seven or eight years, he wasn't really doing anything with it anymore. And so then I just took the same name and asked him if I could use it. And, uh, we actually started to put our records in too. We do a lot of in-store concerts. When I first opened the store here, I wanted to do more shows that were like, more kind of like mini concerts, kind of like a house show type setting. Um, I like the fact that they, they have shows here sometimes. That's cool. I always like going to see a show in a record store. There's just a lot of stuff around like that you probably couldn't really find anywhere else. So if you don't like buying stuff on the internet, I'd probably come here first. Other than records, we sell CDs, and books, and magazines, and uh, stickers, and patches, and turntables, and record care supplies like bags, and cleaning kits, and boxes, and DVDs. I think that's pretty much it. Um, when I opened the store, I decided I wanted to just pretty much focus as much as I could on music.